What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Uh, a smart and sustainable approach to fitness and martial arts for older guys like myself. So in this video guys, I wanna to talk to you about how to recover quicker, manually. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you know, a lot of people when they talk about recovery, they're telling you, you know, you gotta, uh, you gotta eat, you gotta sleep, you gotta take, um, you know, multivitamins, uh, fish oil, all kinds of stuff, right? But today, I wanna talk about something that has a immediate impact on how you feel, on your muscles and stuff. Because what happened is that yesterday, I, I trained, uh, I went to, to judo practice, and I'm pretty sore today, mainly because um, I kinda hurt my neck there. Uh, I don't know how it happened, but whatever it happens, you know, when you're grappling and you're, you're fighting, um, you know, stuff like that comes up. And also, I actually did a big training session uh, the morning of. So I spent about two hours in the gym uh, working out. And then after that, at night, I went to do some judo. And today, I feel wrecked. So what I do when I'm wrecked is the first thing is you guys must have heard of this. Foam rolling, yes, right here. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you guys how to foam roll because there's enough videos on YouTube, uh, you know, that that show you how to do it. Um, one thing that I will explain to you guys uh, is, from from my understanding, is that when you foam roll your back, okay, you can't go too low. All right, don't go. Uh, as soon as your where your ribs stop. So let's say, let me just stand up here a second. Let's say right about here, this is where my ribs stop. When you don't feel your ribs anymore, don't go lower with the foam roller. Because if you do that, what you're doing is that you're, you're, you're extending your spine way back and it's, it's not good for your spine, you know? When you're doing it up here, well yes, your spine is there, but you also have your rib cage, so it's, it's much more solid, you know? So you'll get, you'll get that, uh, that pressure that you need uh, on your muscles, but you have, um, uh, you have your bones and everything, uh, your ribs, supporting your, your spine, so you, you'll be okay. But if you do it lower than where your ribs uh, stop, you, you know, it's, uh, it's not good for your, for your lower back. Okay, so that's the, that's the first thing. Uh, there's two more things, okay? Right here. Now, this is a, a, another version, a spiky lacrosse ball type of thing. Um, I'll put a link down below after for, uh, for, for foam roller and for this type of stuff. And the, the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys. But this thing here, okay, um, is great. So wherever you wanna, wherever, wherever there's something wrong with your body, then you use this. Either you go up against the wall and you, know, you, you, you push yourself back on it, or you can lie on the ground. Okay, so this could be used for basically, it's small enough to go anywhere you need it to go. Anywhere you have a little bit of pain, you feel a little knot or anything. Just use this and, and it's gonna fix your problem. And uh, the last thing I wanna, I, I really wanna show you guys, and this is something I actually got out of uh, Mike Tyson's um, uh, biography. Uh, I forgot what was it called, but he wrote it a couple years back. But here it is guys, Epsom salt. This does miracles for you. So what you do is uh, you set up a bath, you fill your, your, uh, your bathtub with you know, hot water, and you put two, uh, two cups of this. It says here two cups of uh, 500 ml. This, this shit is inexpensive, all right? I mean, you're, I paid this, uh, what, about $4? You know, and that's $4 Canadian. So you guys are probably gonna pay much uh, cheaper. At $4 for, what is this, two kilos. Two kilos right here. Uh, I, I take the one without, uh, without any scent because I don't really care much for the, um, uh, for, for, for the smell of it, you know? Not, I mean, you, you can buy some that smell like vanilla, like flour, whatever, it's more relaxing, but you know, it's not necessary. So anyways, do your research on it, look it up, Epsom salt bath, and you're gonna see. But anyways, you really have to try it for yourself. Uh, so you put two, two, two cups of uh, 5 ml, right, into uh, the, the, the bathtub with, with the hot water. You know, you mix it a little bit with your hand. And then you stay in there as long as you possibly can. All right, or until at least you start breaking a sweat 
or um, the water is just you know lukewarm and it's kind of useless you know so if you do that trust me you when you come out of this bath you will feel like a hundred bucks oh uh, okay sorry a million bucks not a hundred a hundred is not that much so you, you you do it you take the bath and you're gonna see you're gonna feel really really refreshed uh, your muscles are gonna feel rejuvenated um, and the soreness is is gonna be practically gone and if you go to bed after taking this um, uh, this, this bath with Epsom salt, you're gonna feel so good that, uh, well, you're gonna sleep so so well that the next day you're gonna feel really good. All the soreness, practically all the soreness is gonna be gone. So you'll be able to, to hit the gym or uh, go, go do your workout, go train, go jujitsu, go karate, go uh, taekwondo, do whatever, and uh, play whatever sport you want and, and you'll be in shape. So, yeah, back to what I was saying about um, uh, where I got this idea with Epsom salt. So, uh, it was in Mike, Mike Tyson's biography, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's what he used to do uh, when he would come back from a night of uh, fighting God knows how many uh, uh, rounds of boxing in, in some, some, some corner of the world there, because he used to box quite a bit uh, when he was young. Like, uh, him, and, him and Customato went all over the place just looking for fights. And uh, sometimes he was so sore that he would have to crawl up the stairs to, uh, to, to, the, to, to the washroom where the bathtub was. And then uh, this is what uh, Customato would get him to do. He would put him in a bath full of Epsom salt. And then the next day, he would be ready to go. So listen, try it out. So remember, the foam roller, okay? If you're really sore, foam roll the shit out of, you know, all the parts that are, 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 are sore. But for the foam roller, it's more for the legs, okay, the, the upper back, uh, you know, you can do, and, and that's about it. After that, if you want to go a little bit deeper, you know, um, I suggest you get a, a lacrosse ball. Uh, get one with, um, I'm at the point now where I don't even feel it if it doesn't have spikes on it. So that's another thing. If you're going to get a foam roller, um, you see this one here, even this one is kind of useless to me now. Like It helps, like, overall, but I mean, it's not... It, it doesn't have enough spikes on it. It has a little bit of, you see like a uh, little, little pieces sticking out here, but they're not, they're not hard enough and they're not long enough either. So I'm probably gonna get a new one soon. Anyways, uh, my suggestion is to get one with like the, uh, the pieces sticking out more. So that way you don't have to go buy another one like I'm gonna do now, right? And then this is the second thing, uh, lacrosse ball with spikes, ideally, okay? Or no spikes, whatever. And most importantly, this right here, Epsom salt. There you go, I don't know if you guys can see it. And you'll see the difference. And uh, yeah, and you'll, you'll thank me for it. So come back to this video, try it, and then uh, leave a comment. So listen, like, comment, subscribe, uh, push the little bell for the notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.